it's Mimi here and welcome back to Digimon Lynx. So we are back with um, a new update uh, for Digimon Lynx. Um, today is Monday the 20th. Um, sorry I didn't I wasn't able to get this video out earlier. The reason for that is my electricity was out almost all of the day. It only just came back up like another hour ago. Like I totally had no electricity. It was so painful. Um, but I have electricity now, and you know, also for those that care, I am back in the States. I am, you know, back home, so that's great. And back to my old setup, and this will make it so much easier for, you know, for me to continue forward. So let's see. We have a new event, the uh, later skill capture has begun. So we have another leader skill capture. So here we have a uh, link leader skill capture. So this is again like the one we had, you know, we had before. We are basically guaranteed, well not guaranteed, we just have very good odds at getting this ultimate Digimon. Which in this case is War Grandma. So basically at least a Digimon with a leader skill will appear at least so you're not guaranteed to get grandma, War Grandma, you are just guaranteed to get a Digimon with a leader skill. With a leader skill. So, I mean, the leader skills that you can get, you know, boost linked HP, um, attack and defense, critical accuracy, yeah. Basically all the things, that, you know, the same ones we got before. So, let's see, the ultimate Digimon that can appear are those listed above, which is just War Grommon. He can um, develop to like Dark um, Gallantmon and Regular Gallantmon and something else. Um, so if you want to get any of those three Digimon, he is totally something you should go for. And also War Grommon will get you uh, the Gallantmon that you can use, you know, use the data fragments that you can get out of the new event um, for this. So actually, you know, scratch that, we'll get to that in a second. So, okay, so duplicate Digimon can appear, blah blah blah, so same thing as usual. No Megas in this capture. No Megas in this capture. Done. Oops, I pushed go to it, didn't I? Let's go back to news. Alright, now we have the white Holy Land special chip capture. Oh my gosh, they are, they're really going for this. It's really, really going for this. So this is again another capture. Um, this capture will basically give you um, the chance to get um, a special ship A, a B, or a C. That all all they do is increase your HP, but they provide you um, bonuses for the new event. So basically, that's your biggest benefit out of this. You can get you can get boosts uh, on the new event. So. If you want to boost for the new event, because you are trying to farm for Galantmon, do this. But if you're not, if you're just trying to be casual, just save your digit stones and farm the old-fashioned way. It, it, you might not get as many data fragments as you want, but you wouldn't have to spend your digit stones. So just really keep that into consideration. You have to use your digit stones very wisely um, in this game. It's just trying to get me to capture. I keep clicking the wrong button. I keep clicking the wrong button here. And lastly, the white, oh, and we probably should have started here. <laughs> white Holy Lands event for Gallant Mon. He looks so great. Um, the White Holy Lands event is available now. Here's some information about the White Holy Lands event. The exchange will be available from today um, until the 9th of December, which actually falls on a Saturday. You know, the thing about this game, so it's gonna, the exchange will be open for two weeks. This event will only be um, open until this Saturday. This game, oh, actually no. This event is going on for two weeks. This event will be going on from this week until not this Saturday, but next Saturday. That's great. That's awesome. Two weeks instead of a one week period, thank God. Because one week is not not sufficient. Um, I wasn't able to farm basically at all for the previous event because I was traveling, and while traveling, my hours were all sort of skewed, and you know I couldn't really play. But you know, 
I don't regret it. There was very exciting things happening in my life. If you want to hear about them, come down to the stream and I'll love to tell you about it because we had a very fun, much fun time. Um, there was a lot of pictures on Denver's Instagram, so check that out. I had a lot of fun, uh, but also worked a lot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, so yes, this quest is composed of four stages from easy to um, expert difficulty. Again, it's basically the same thing as last week's event. Except this time you're getting things for um, Gallantmon. Also, uh, so you know, defeating the Digimon, you get data bytes, which you can um, exchange for Gallimon data fragments and other things. Um, fragments for Digivolution will not drop to the Megas. You just get the bytes to be able to get fragments once you exchange them. If you get um, the special chip event, um, if you get the C one, you can get one. If you get the B, you get plus two and plus three for an A chip. Basically, this is increasing the amount of data bytes that you can get from this event. So, I mean, if you want to be able to at least get one every single time, you can get a C chip. So, if you pull once and just get a C chip, you'll be assured at least one data byte every single time you run this. So, I mean, maybe, maybe, you know, seeing how my drops are, I might break down and do it, but I'm not sure yet. Um, Gallimon isn't the one that I want to I want to farm for, but I will do my best with that chip. So the chip capture will be available after clearing area four. Yeah, basically you need a chip factory to be able to do the chip factors, um, the chip captures. Um, also solo only quest Duke stage. Ooh, is this like the other one? So clear exclusive stage and the solo Duke stage will appear. Clear to get the powerful Gullimon. Ooh, you can get a Gulimon just so this is basically like the other one um, that we, we that we had for Imperial Dramon. That if you did the super stage, you'd get a Vmon, which just had a metal, um, which basically was great for fodder. Um, it wasn't really much more strong than that. So I'm assuming that we'll get a Gulimon with a, um, a metal attached to it. Not a great leader skill. It's just gonna have some metals attached to it. Which you can use to put them on a different Digimon. So, also, you know, let's see, yeah. You can try the Duke stage after clearing White Holy x stage, yeah. Get God Land special chips at the exchange, which will help in the next event. Ooh, it is giving a spoiler here. What? Get God Land special chips at the exchange, which will help in the special next event. Get status boost by equipping these chips. Gallimon and Ultra Force Vimon get an even greater boost when equipped. Oh, okay. This chip will be effective in the future event Crimson God Lands. Equip the God Lands status as special chip for the event and it will increase certain status for your Digimon. The God Lands status special chip can enhance up to a with chip enhancement. So you get many chips, you get a higher level chip. That's great. Okay. And the next event, um, Crimson God Lands, will, is the ranking event. Ooh, like the Imperial Dramon event. That's interesting. And it's scheduled, um, Gallimon is scheduled to appear with even more Unleashed Powered. Ah, okay, so we have some exciting things coming. And it's good to see that they're kind of linking these events together to kind of see what will come um, in the future. Huh. This is the first time that they actually kind of preview the next event. And I actually was really thinking that we'd be getting um, the Coliseum this week. But maybe they'll release it somewhere in between. I really thought it was going to come out this week. I really did think that. But, you know, it's good to see that they're going back to the two-week schedule for events and not just trying to force you to do it in one week. Because as many people have told me, it's tough to get the, you know, things farmed in one week. A lot of y'all have lives. A lot, <laughs> even I have a life from here to there. But you know, it's good to see a two week event and also them kind of foreshadowing. By the way, if you have these, you know, Godland special, uh, special status chips, they'll help you in the next event next week. Well, not next week, but you know, coming up. And you can get a boost. And also telling you that it's going to be a ranking event. So just remember all the things we learned from the previous ranking event. And you will be solid. So thank you peeps so much for watching. I hope you're still playing Digimon. If you are playing Digimon, let me know in the comments below. 
If you're not, also let me know. Um, I've, I've noticed a lot of people have come and go from the game and, you know, we'll see who's still, to, who's still here. So thank you all so very much for watching and supporting and until next time, meow meow.